Now, say my name. Any other headlines, Kevin? You want to talk about any Mortal Kombat news or anything like that? It Mortal is Kombat in our title news? description. It is. Okay. So if we're going to get to the tidbits, um, we got a first glimpse of the Mortal Kombat 2 crew. If you look in the back is Johnny Cage. We haven't seen a picture of Johnny Cage from the movie yet, but there he is just hanging out because, you know, he's not wearing any other makeup with his frosty Finish. Finish him. <laughs> Come on, Johnny. Take the glasses off. Let's go. I'm really excited for this one. The first movie was great. I don't care what anybody said. It was so stupid. It made no sense. It didn't need to, but it had everything that the games had that was fun. It had all your amazing fights. It had your brutal fatalities. It had complete nonsense. And golly, it had pop on top. You're talking the 94 one, or are you talking the one from a couple years ago? The one from a couple years ago that had okay. the made up character as the main character. Yeah, that's the only thing I didn't really dig. There's plenty of characters you could have used that actually exist in the world and it would have been fine but whatever i got my i got my cool scorpion and uh sub-zero moment so that's true uh, get over here who and that fight was some shit that was mm. fucking rad i mean i really i like mortal kombat shit <laughs> even going to like you know the animated series the old tv show conquest all the way to like fucking Except for Mortal Kombat 2 Annihilation. That's the only one I'm like, mm, I'll watch it, but I won't like it. I you won't know, like I, it. I can't even get through five minutes of that. That's because they killed Johnny in the first five minutes. Yeah, I it's, know. It's, it's just, it's such a shit show. And the wrong guy cast as Raiden. Just pay yeah. fucking Christopher Lloyd's fucking paycheck. And they got someone else other than Miranda to play Sonya, didn't they? Well, Christopher Lambert, not like Jesus Christ. The I think the only person they brought back was the guy who played Liu Kang. Yeah. And that was the budget, folks. Yeah. <laughs> We're out. Oh God, that fucking the animality. Oh uh, God, that looked like shit you'd see on an old Commodore sixty four game. <laughs> I forgot about that so you brought that up. Thanks, Chad. Sorry. <laughs> don't apologize. <laughs> it's I don't remember, here. so now I've got to go watch it. Oh, jeez. Darn. I'm, I'm going to be getting hate mail from Kev in the next week or so going, Chad, what the fuck? You killed our dick. <laughs> <laughs> and Solomon Thornton got a comment flawless victory my mom got me into mortal kombat so i'm looking forward to the sequel right that's on awesome brother. good that's mom awesome. yeah like the, the my mom took movie. me to robocop 2 and swore she'd never take me to another horror movie ever again and she never did robocop 2 wasn't a horror film it was an action film that was gritty and raw i think it had to do with the whole uh ripping the guy's skull out of the robot and the old man going I think we're going to have to call damage control to handle this as the ambulances show up to the scene. And in that moment, my mom just was like, that's it. I'm done. You want to see an R-rated movie? You sneak into this shit. I'm not bringing into these myself. <laughs> thus began my life of seeing movies, paying for another movie and not going to that movie. <laughs> Dressing in camouflage looked like the the theater wall to you know walk past. Well, what was funny is I could I I legitimately paid for R rated movie tickets and saw the movies until one time, some new idiot was at the ticket counter, and they said, "Can I see your ID?" And I'm like, "Okay, nobody's asked for my ID before, but here you go." They said, "Well, you're sir, you're." You're 17. You can't go see this movie until you're 18. I'm like, I've been going to see R-rated movies for like the last year here. Why is this now a problem? That's not our policy. Who did that? I'm like, bye. I went back the next day, bought a different ticket for a different movie, and somebody else was there. And every time I'd see that other person, I'd just buy a ticket for another movie and just, boom, right on in. I didn't have that problem in high school. I worked at the movie theater. 
<laughs> yeah, you snuck all your buddies, and that's what you did. <laughs> Usually we did that on the Thursday nights before the movies came out. Oh, I see. And the only time, again, that there was a horror film that was truly disturbing while I was working at the theater was Event Horizon. Like, that was the only time that I went that a movie was disturbing and fucked up everybody that was there. Otherwise, like, the most disturbing thing we watched was either, like, Phantom Menace out of Disappointment or... (laughs) titanic because my buddy got his ass or almost got his ass kicked on the way out oh really what happened we screened it before we had the thursday night crew uh, they were going to show a thursday night premiere for midnight and we had to screen it prior to that premiere coming in to make sure that the reel was okay okay and as we were leaving my friend danny goes oh my god and there's a big line of people going all the way out the door from like the theater door to the front door like waiting to get in and my buddy danny just announces i can't believe the fucking boat sank (laughs) (laughs) somebody got pissed off about that (laughs) somebody just lost their shit thanks for spoiling the movie you Fucking asshole! <laughs> so I, I've got a similar story. So I was I was working at the Target there in town when that movie was out, and everybody wanted that fucking Celine Dion single. <laughs> and somebody was asking for it. I was in the electronics department that night. I'm like, I uh, no, we're sold out. Wasn't that? Me? And she started <laughs> going off about this lady. She had to have been about my mom's age. She started going off about, oh, this is supposed to be such a beautiful movie. I can't wait to see it. Have you seen it? I'm like, I'm not going to go see it. I already know the boat sinks. Mm -hmm. And she just looked at me like, well, thank you for ruining the movie for me. And I look at her dead in the face and I go, have you never opened a history book? Ever. (laughs) This must have been Stacy's mom. Uh (laughs) Uh-huh. I mean, I always say that the phrase nobody could possibly be that stupid should be added to the list of famous last words. But dear fucking God, I didn't need to see it in real time. Well, it reminds me of the quote from Alan Rickman from the great movie Dogma. Why, unless Mm. there was a movie made about it, does nobody understand history? Yeah, right? Great. It's not important enough to remember if they didn't make a movie about it. That's the actual quote. (laughs) <laughs> yeah i love that movie just total sidebar i fucking love that movie that is a great fucking movie it's my favorite kevin smith movie and i'm lucky i have the dvd because the blu-ray is like over a hundred dollars and really hard to find isn't that movie out of print now 